another day. We got snow again. St. Cloud, Minnesota area.
just kicked this wagon and there's a new one right there. One nine. Get a swap. Minnesota.
How we doing, everybody? Welcome to Month to Video. It's a little windy here. Down below there is the river. I don't know if that's part of the Minnesota River or what. But let's take her up. That's the town right over there. I don't know if we can. Sorry for the wind. It's it's kind of windy out. I don't know if we can see that church over there or not. It's kind of a neat, neat old old church but this is home for the night still learning how to do these controls on this thing so Yeah, it's trying to compensate. I don't know how this pit, how this is gonna look. There we go. Come down the bank here, teaching an old dog new tricks. Come on, girl. You don't want to go forward no more? Uh-oh. Do I got to be underneath you? It's kind of sort of stuck here. There's the volume. We've already done our pre-trip or post-trip, I mean. How we doing, guys? You want to come back? Woo, caught a little bit of wind. <laughs> come on. Get out of here. There we go. Yeah, I didn't like that breeze in there. <laughs> oh, teaching an old dog new tricks. Got a little bit of a wind out here. Turn the gimbal down a little bit. There we go.
I want to see if I can get this close to the underside of the truck. I want to see how low I can go with this thing. Yeah, it doesn't want to go down that low. Not a bad deal. It's a lot of fun. It just it's kind of weird using the toggles on this thing. I want to see if I can roll across the Let's check something out. Bring you back over. Yeah, there we go. Looking straight down. <laughs> Let's check this out. Two double yokers tonight. I can't believe that. Two for the price of one. It's only supposed to be four eggs, but we got six yolks. Sweet! Cooking our hamburger again. Um, hey, uh, I want to clarify something. Someone left a comment yesterday about my diet. Let me get that pork out of your way. There you go again with that expensive diet. I want to clarify something. This isn't expensive. What what would make it expensive? If I was still buying everything else. Bread, rice, noodles, ketchups, mustards, mayonnaises, all of that stuff. All those different spices. All that different food. But I don't buy any of that. Nor does my wife eat, in, eat any of that. So essentially all we're buying is meat eggs butter and how often do you buy butter really i mean you don't go through it that fast i mean we don't in our house um even with the butter that i buy i mean i i'm not eating that much of it in one sitting just saying um so it really isn't that expensive when you weed out i'm not buying five six eight dollar whatever whatever the heck it costs for cereals i drink zero soda pop none i can't even remember the last time i had any soda pop um so tilt that down a little bit so i can stand back just a little bit so um i'm not i don't drink beer i don't drink whiskey i don't drink alcohol um i don't smoke i don't chew tobacco so when when you eliminate all that other stuff i mean heck even some of the spices that you buy i mean garlics and cayenne peppers and thyme and all those different things yeah i guess it would be considered expensive and the other nice benefit of buying meat is we you know we have a freezer in the garage Plus we have a chest model in the kitchen, a small one, you know. Plus we have the one that comes with the fridge, you know. So I mean, we've got three freezers. We have our Buffalo Farmer Rancher that we go to from time to time, which we're getting ready to buy, go buy some bison. And he gives you a cut rate deal if you buy 25 pounds of ground bison. You know, you, instead of paying, uh, forget, uh, paying, uh, I think it's $8.99 a pound, I think, 
If you buy 25 pounds or more, he gives it to you for $7.99, if I remember right. I could be wrong. Um, so you look to buy deals, plus if you go to the store, whatever store you go to, they usually have what they call a manager special, where the meats that are expiring that are getting ready to go to the garbage, they have to sell it. A lot of times they mark it off half price. So if you buy it, if you find some ribeyes or some top sirloin or some stew meat or whatever, buy it up at half price. Take it home, put it in your freezer. Problem solved. So essentially you're getting the meat half off. So there are ways, plus we don't shop there yet. I don't know if we will, but you got Costco's, you got freaking uh, Sam's Clubs, you got all these where you can buy the primal cuts, you know, buy the whole rib, rib roast, and then just cut your own ribeye steaks. Last time I did one of those, I got 18 steaks out of one. Ended up being, because I paid $190 for it. Got 18 steaks, do the math. It was like $10 and some change per ribeye. You're not buying an individual ribeye like that. So I mean, there's ways to buy it in bulk to where it's not super expensive. But what I firmly believe is when you're buying all that other stuff, you don't cut the bread out, the rice out, the noodles out, the pasta, all the spaghetti sauces and lasagnas and cottage cheese and milk, and we don't buy any of that. So when you eliminate all that, there's like over 60,000 items at a, at a grocery store on average, 60,000. Meat, butter, maybe some bacon for my wife. She likes bacon, I don't mind it on the weekend. And eggs, four. Think about that, four items. Are they high ticket items? Yeah, but I think I'm worth it. I think my health is worth it. I'd rather spend $15, $20 on a ribeye than to give some stupid doctor money because I choose not to want to eat healthy because I want to eat all the ice creams and I eat all the all the stuff, just the junk. Blood pressure's regulating. I'm eating more salt in my foods now than I ever have in my entire life. And the dirty little secret that they won't tell you, sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar is a culprit. It's what puts your, your people that have cancer, that's a steroid for cancer. Sugar actually causes cancer. Do your own research. I know I have. So, sorry for the little bit of rant, but I just wanted to clarify, and I'll continue clarifying this every time. It is not expensive to eat this way when you wipe out all the other. But the problem is people don't want to be disciplined to wipe out everything else because, okay, I still have coffee and I still have my nut pot. There's no sugar in this. Now there is to a degree, truth be told, because when you look at the ingredients, the fine print, there's uh, one, Two, there's two forms of, so, of, of sugar in here in the form of gum. Uh, one of them is acacia, acacia, A-C-A-C-I-A, -A -A, and then gelin gum. So there are two forms of, of sugar in here if you want to get quote unquote technical. Um, other than that, that's it. Those are the only two items. But this is it. I don't do anything else. No, no, no flavored coffee as far as like all the French vanillas and all the, uh, all those sugary fruity drinks that you get at Starbucks or anything. I brew my own. And so, coffee's my only vice. And I'll leave it at that. Other than that, I just eat beef. Beef and eggs. And I'm down, I'm not measuring anymore. Um, I'm down like, I'm either at 230 or somewhere between 225 and 230. 
Blood pressure is getting down low. It's regularly regulating lower than 120 over 80. CDL, my physical that I get done every two years because I get a two year. Uh, all they need you to be is, I believe it's 140 over 90. I've got that. So we're legal on that. And so just that. Well, I've ranted on this little section. This will be Friday. This is it. We'll go over here to Watertown, South Dakota in the morning. We'll unload these blinds. He doesn't want to get there until 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I'm not used to working that late in the morning. Um, but what the customer wants, the customer gets. So I told him I'd probably get to his pole barn because I'm going to a private, private property. Um, I'll get there about 7.30. That way I can get set up, get back in, get the door swung. That way when he shows up, if he shows up before eight, that's fine. Um, he's like, that's cool. So we'll do that. That way I can back in off a of live street and not have to worry about too much traffic. Then we're gonna reload back in Bird Island, Minnesota, which we just went through. We're gonna pick up a load that's going all the way down to somewhere in South Carolina. Import, um, uh, Emporia, I think. E Effingham, Effingham, South Carolina. That's what it is, Effingham, South Carolina for a Monday afternoon delivery. So I'm loading what I'm taking. So we'll get this loaded tomorrow. We'll go home, call it a quick 34 hour off and get right back behind the wheel and head on down to Effingham, South Carolina so we can make a Monday morning. And then we're gonna do grocery list, backhaul what we call the milk run. Gonna have hops all over the place. I think I got eight locations that I'm coming back, picking up freight from. So stick around if you wanna to go to the Southeast. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of Southeast. I don't know where all yet, but stick around and find out Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. God bless everybody. Love you guys. I want to thank you for leaving comments. I do like the spirit. Uh, the, I do. I did appreciate the comment that the gentleman left uh, because that is a misconception that people think that this is an expensive diet. It can be, depending on how you do it. If you're willing to use, eat, get the markdown stuff, I'm okay with that. It's still good. It's not like it's spoiled. They can't sell spoiled food. But yeah, so, but it's, it's the lack of discipline and wanting to change. And I'm pretty much an aggressive type person. Been surviving myself, been surviving it for about, well, ever since my old man passed away when I was 10. Mom looked at me and the kid, me and my brothers, my brother just older than I, my sister and said, hey kids, whatever you can earn, mom needs help. My mother never worked a day in her life outside the home worked it you know did everything else at home nothing out so um, so essentially at 10 years old I just started working and surviving and figuring out just figured out how to do it don't don't it, it doesn't do any good to cry about it just figure out how to fix it and hopefully don't do don't repeat it so all right guys gals I love you enjoy your weekend on that God bless see y'all Sunday